is nominated. This is a whole new way to look at a hairbrush. I debuted this brand with the man and his wife out of Britain um, several years ago. It's called Manta. And it's a really cutting edge, but also like pretty intuitive, um, simple concept. What if your hands could sprout bristles? And what if in doing so, combing, brushing, styling your hair was as easy as if you could just literally use your own fingers? This, in part, is why it's named Manta, Manta Ray. You know, the fish in the sea that... But there's so much more here to say. As a hot pick on the day, we'll spend a little extra time here. Um, I'll also say this sold out the very last time it was on in May. So it's a delight to have him back. And I'll introduce him in a second. This is the Manta brush. And it's unlike any hairbrush you know. Great for babies, just won an award for that. Mary Claire, yep, that magazine, calls it the number one best hairbrush for the year 2023. And it has won a Queen's Award, as in the late Queen Elizabeth, because long before the founder came here and hit it big on U.S. soil, he was already making waves as an incredible inventor and entrepreneur in his home country. So here's Manta. Here's the hot pick. Here's what you're getting. The brush itself. This brush, men, women, children, Thin hair, thick hair, you can use it in the shower or out of the shower on dry hair or on wet hair, but it's so much gentler on your hair. Comes in these colors. This is our pink. Burgundy always goes quickly. Next to that, I take you down here because the green, the sage, is a newer color to the Manta line. White, all of these have either gold or rose gold trim accents or even silver in one of the colors. And then on the end, black. You're also getting the suction cup shower holder because we encourage you to use it with treatments and scrubs to exfoliate the scalp in the shower. And here's why you will love to do that. Tim, come on out. The bristles are so gentle and so pliable, it will literally create a sensorial sensation on your scalp when you use it in the shower. And Tim is here. Tim Bennington. Hi, friend. How are you? I'm great. It's How are you? To see you? It's lovely to <laughs> see you too, Tim. Uh, Tim. Tim and his lovely wife Danny, who's always she's 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 insulated from my horrible attempts at an English accent because she typically doesn't travel all the way over here from the UK with Tim. No. But your wife, in you're going to tell the story, <laughs> is a, a great reason behind why this even exists. And then congrats on the Marie Claire Award because yeah, it's this lovely. is. Not not even looks like any normal hairbrush, and they are raving about and it. So going mad about it, yeah. Explain how it works and what it does. Well, well Sean, a normal hairbrush, you know, you grip like this, or you have a handle, don't you? And yes. you pull through. Yeah. Uh, and that's always been the way, right? Uh -huh. And that causes unnecessary tension and breakage on the hair, because you're hoping the bristles are going to give rather mm -hmm. than the hair. But the brush always wins. At home, you see how much hair is left on your brush. Mm -hmm. But Manta, you put your hand in it like a glove. Yep and then you can flex it. There's this flex guard technology, and that means you're so versatile, you can do so much with it. So you can shampoo with it, apply treatments, you can blow dry with it even, detangle, but what's most important is it will not break your hair, and I'll prove it to you today. So here's the deal. Um, the thing about hair, Tim has been a hairdresser for 40, 30, yep. 40, 40 years? 40, Okay. 30. Oh, um, oh. <laughs> 30 years. He has like a, a vibrant, I mean, like an empire of salons <clears throat> in the UK, a huge chain of them. And so he knows as a hairstylist that, Tim, when your hair is wet, as this woman's hair is, your hair is the weakest, the most vulnerable to yeah. damage and to breakage. So when he says you don't have to worry about breakage, the gentleness with which the manta works and also what it's made out of it covets the hair and is like loving towards it and so any hair that you see in the manta is hair that was intended to naturally shed anyway it's not like it's pulling it out no whereas normal hairbrushes well you lose about a hundred hairs a day normally right it grows it rests and it falls out now we're going to show you on sam on sam here right sam has actually kindly brought her old brush in Right. This reminds me of my six-year-old because this is what I used to yeah. brush the knots out well, of her hair. This is Sam's Please. brush that she used to have before I gave her a manta. <laughs> now look, you can see here that will not get through the hair, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now I'm going to show you here. This is the manta. Now watch this. Watch how I do it. My th look, I'm just getting my thumb and my finger I'm together it. and working it. You see? Now look at that. Now what's interesting is that other brush couldn't go through the hair. 
and then look at this beautiful through the hair but look where's the camera there I'll just show you no hair has come out at all well, and the shine and the shine because what you're doing if you see how, by the way out the door if you see how I'm just brushing this down and I'm smoothing the hair I can feel every knot and because I can feel a knot that means I'm not pulling too hard and breaking the hair. Okay, so now here's where the tearjerker comes in. Spoiler alert, um, the ending is a good one, so don't get scared. Tim, why did you invent Manta? This is your time, this oh, yeah. is the moment to talk about Danny. Well, my wife, Danny, she was only 33 at the time. She got ill, got cancer, and she's fine now, 10 years clear. But when all her hair grew back, she would not touch her scalp. And her, when her hair was growing back, she said every hairbrush was ripping her hair out. She said, I wish I had bristles on my fingers. So it took me five years and I made the manta. And what's important is, I said to her, you need to exfoliate the scalp. Because if you stimulate the scalp, if you rub the scalp, can you see like this? That will do two things. One, it will get blood and oxygen to the scalp and that will feed the hair follicle. Now when it feeds the hair follicle, that means your hair is going to be healthy when it grows out. Think about healthy gums healthy teeth, yep, right? yep. healthy scalp, healthy hair. And then secondly, by exfoliating the scalp, you get any debris off the scalp, oil from the sebaceous yep. glands, products, something like that. For sure. So what I said to it is so important. But the thing is, she did she did eventually get the man to five years afterwards. So. Well, and the thing, I want to show you guys colors again because we are very busy on the phone lines. I think we have like about six, 700 out the door now. Oh, nope, over a thousand out the door. You can blow dry with the Manta, you can take it in the shower and apply and scrub and exfoliate your scalp or even apply your conditioner or conditioner treatments or your shampoo. You can use it on dry hair or wet hair, old hair, young hair, thick hair or thin hair. And by the way, guys, I'm just telling you, the last time Tim was here, these sold out. It's lovely to have you back. I did not expect it though because we don't have you on this side of the um, ocean that often. This is our pink Manta. This is our burgundy, one of my absolute favorites. Um, the sage, the black, and the white. And the other thing that I think is amazing too, like when we just talk about detangling the hair, because I, I do it with Jagger all the time, but even my hair, like I have very thick hair. Um, it, I, I normally had to spray so much detangling spray on her hair yeah. that it almost looked <clears throat> coated with yeah. suds in order to create a silky slip so I could get through things. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that at all. Like, but, it's just amazing. But can I quickly just show you please, as well? Please. When you hear, look, watch this. Oh, wait, I'm come doing, this right? way, come this way. Come right. this way. I'm just going to show you. You want to show right? this? Can you show this? So, hi. hi. When you have your manta, right, <laughs> I'm just going to show you here. You can bend it and squash it. It will not break. Here, hold so, your hand down just a little oh, bit. Yeah. Got it? Yeah, there so you go. When there you go. Get, when you get it out of the box, really squash it and squeeze it. Break the it more in. It's a bit like when you've got a pair of jeans, right? Yeah, and yeah. you put a pair of jeans on and they'll just wash. They're all stiff. And then you move around in a bit and then that will Make soften it yours. them up. All right? So I'm just going to show you now what we're going to do. In the shower, right, you can put a tiny bit of shampoo on. Look, that's, sorry, that's even too much. You see how... You're going to love that. Do you want to... Okay, fine. And then, right, we're going to just go round on the this. scalp, watch, and just stimulate the scalp. Can you see? Small but circular motions. But do you see motions. how frothy it's getting? And he didn't even add water. I mean, our hair's wet. But, like, normally to get that kind of froth, you would yeah. need to emulsify with a ton of water and go to town with your two hands. I, I feel like that is probably the best. Look at, look, look at, look at, at that. here, hold, you, no, over here. Over, over this way, can you see? That's how look much Look at it, it's like whipped get, cream. Right? Now, what I was gonna say, when you've got long hair, really do small circular motions, because you don't want to get the hair really knotted up. And then once you rinse it, the other thing you can do. Last call, is burgundy. All, it's always just put on, when you're gonna put the treatment on, put your treatment on the hair and then just work it through. Remember, when the hair's wet, it's heavy, right? That's when it's more prone to come out. So when you put treatment on, just really gently comb it through. So you distribute the treatment better, you use less of it, but you won't pull it out of the head. I, I'm fascinated, fascinated by this, and but also here's what I'm fascinated by. You know, it's very difficult to um, win <clears throat> over editorial like beauty bigwigs, and you know, obviously Tim is from the UK, so there's that. Um, and he comes over here and Manta, which is you know unlike anything you've seen in this category, and now Marie Claire magazine is calling it the best hairbrush this year. And men are using it, women are using it. It's kind of like we're, Tim, we're all collectively relearning 
how to how comb to, and brush well, our hair. The hairbrush hasn't changed for over 150 years. Oh, is that true? Right, so it first designed in about 1871, patented, right, in America. Funny enough, and then we haven't changed did, it. Did you but, see that little subtle dig? But but, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but but the the interesting thing is, hundred years ago we didn't live that long. Now right. people are looking amazing at sixty, and they want the hairs they did when they were thirty. You better believe it. I mean, in this beauty show alone, we always have products for how to get fuller hair, thicker hair. We also talk about formulas that exactly. are clean. Exactly. And so it makes sense if we're trying to clean up our formulas that we would also want to be far more gentle and conscious about the tools we're using as well. Exactly. Um, yeah. That's essentially what Tim has created. And look, you have a thirty-day return policy. If it doesn't win you over, send it back. But I think. It it will really freshen up your routine and also how you literally feel um, when you're done. Um, over half our quantities are gone. Burgundy just sold out. Last call in the black. Last call in the white. A few more um, than that in the sage and a few more than that in the pink, but not much. And then you're getting a suction cup holder for the shower because remember, you use it on dry hair or wet hair so like use yeah it in the shower. i always use it in the shower just to put a tiny bit of shampoo in, and even if you're not shampooing your hair just exfoliate every day and even in the evening right if you're sitting there watching the tv Stressed. you can always just massage the scalp remember if you exfoliate the scalp that will get your hair will be healthier because of it because you'll get anything off the debris off the scalp and you'll get blood and oxygen to the hair follicle i always enjoy getting the debris off my i think debris <laughs> is, is a problem, <laughs> and we all should just get rid of the debris. Well, sebaceous glands. I love you, but yeah, we're selling thank, out. Thank so, okay, all right.